it's Nicholas back in the house, back in the house, back in the house. You're in my house, so behave. Now, I wasn't going to do a video tonight. I wasn't going to do any videos to the weekend, actually. Because I've been really, really busy. <clears throat> but, guess what we've got here? Puppy Linux 8. Yes, 8. Not 7.5. 8. Based on Ubuntu 18.04 repositories. Remember, it's built from Woof, but it can use the Ubuntu repositories. So you can basically get anything to work that you really want to. Now, I've not installed this to the hard drive just yet. I just wanted to get this video out to show you what it's like. And it's quite familiar to a lot of other distros, isn't it? Okay. We won't say they are, but you can tell me. Okay. So I'm running from the USB with a, a save file at the moment. Tomorrow, I'm going to install it on an older machine and we'll run from a hard drive. But I just wanted to show you what it's all about before you go out and download the really large 380 meg download. Oh my god, it's really large. No, it's not as tiny compared to other distros. It's actually 10 times tinier. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Usual puppy Linux, really. That the icons have all changed. We're not going to go through these just yet. I'm just going to show you on this really quick one. And tomorrow we'll do another video and show you what it's all about. Okay. So you've got usual file, help mount, install. So if I go to install, install applications and the puppy package manager, it's still all there. I have they, I've updated the Puppy Package Manager. There is loads and loads of stuff there for you, okay? OBS is there. Everything that you want is there. Caden Lives. Eh. Think about it, it's there. Uh, I wonder if Discord is there. But it doesn't really matter if it's not. So if I type in Discord. Oh, it's not there. doesn't matter. You go to the site and get the package and start it. Just do it that way. No problem whatsoever, okay? I've always taught some stuff for you. There's a setup usual for Puppy. We're not going to do that tonight. Let's just show you what it all looks like. I love the new desktop background. Super cool. It's nice. Editor, which is, what is it? Still Genie? Still Genie, so we know what we're talking about. Console, yeah, it's still rocks and all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Writer, it's still going to be Abbey Word. It's going to be no moth. Calc, Genie Merrick, okay. It's the usual, just to get your work done. What is Abbey Wood? Uh, it's still 3.0.1, so I'm not really worried about that. Because you can have LibreOffice if you want to. Or if you're like me, a lot of my stuff is done on my uh, Google Drive now, so it all depends. Okay. What is your paint program of this version? It's still the same. Yeah, it's still the same. It's still mPaint. It's still there. But it seems to be faster. Just faster. Runs with newer NVIDIA cards. Yes, I can vouch for that because it actually booted on this one. Look for drawing. Got to be Inkscape Lite, isn't it? You can have the full Inkscape if you really want to. Entirely up to you. The browser of choice, of course, is Pal Moon. But we won't go into that. Some of you may want to use Pal Moon. That's right. That's fine by me. Okay. But I do a lot of my work in Chrome and all the extensions, etc., etc. So you know, that's me. Email is Clawsmail. I'm not going to click on it. And the chat should be Hexbot. But we'll go through the menu really quickly with you in a minute. Is that Orage? Yes. No, it's Osmo. Okay. We're using Osmo. Nice. So you can see it's the 25th today. Came out today. So I think it actually came out yesterday, but I've just been really lazy, to be honest with you. M player, your connect feature. Right, quick pet. If I click on quick pet, you get some options here, okay? So the first thing you want to do, even if you're on a USB stick, is the Bionic updates, and it'll download it. I've already done it. But we're just doing it to show you how good it is. And I've had to use a USB dongle for this because it didn't recognise my LAN card, okay? No big deal. I'll sort that at a later date. I can do that. But even though it's just been released, okay, there's some updates already for lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff. Oh, they've added Cody, okay? Freakhead. Oh, lovely. Taz, take a shot. Ooh. Fixes for Opera, Vivaldi and Chromium already, okay? Uh, fixes for OCR. See, they're on the ball this time. Mm. Now, the reason I think this is, is because I done a video on 7.5 quite a while ago. It might have been a year ago. And I've done a couple of updates on the go, and they've been really popular. And Steve has done a couple as well recently, where he's installed it again. And it is really usable. Some people are going, oh, it's crap, it looks horrible, it looks old school. Well, now it's not, is it? No. Okay. We won't say what it looks like, but it looks like several distros but a lot faster, okay? Now, bearing in mind this is running RAM, I'm just going to show you how much RAM I'm using. It's actually not installed, okay? Not installed to a hard drive. It's just running from the USB stick. 
that's all it is. So if I go to H-Stop for you, as you can see, I'm recording at 60 frames per second at 1080p, excuse me, 1.8, which is about average, really, isn't it? But then again, I've got 32 gig of RAM on this machine, so that's no big deal. Yeah, does the job. It works. What can I say? Anyway, we've done our options. But once you have it installed, you can change the kernel. Now, the kernel on this at the moment is 1.19.23. So we're getting up there. We're getting moving. It's great. Puppy's back with a vengeance. I love it. Still with one you want to. You can Firefox is here. Sea Monkey, Opera, Vivaldi, Chromium, Tor, Ballistic, even. Go to Net. You want Skype? You can have Skype. You want Mumble? You can have Mumble. Office, again. All there. Fall of Rough is sweet. Calibra, QCAD, FreeCAD. Any desk, I didn't know what that was, but it's actually a desktop sharing app. Not sure if I'd use it because I don't know about it. And a Dropbox installer. Oh, on the bottom. Open Drive, install and sync your Google Drive. That'd be good for me. We'll do that when we install on the full machine. Under AV, this is just in Quick Pet, by the way. You can have Google Music, Spotify is here. I can vouch for it, it works. Should we do that? Okay, we'll just do it. Okay. Now, bearing in mind, this is a USB 2 dongle I'm using at the moment. So, don't expect it to be super fast, okay? It's alright, but it's not faster than super, is it? Let's be honest. And while that's downloading Spotify for me from the Netherlands, because that's normally the fastest one from me. Okay, full GIMP you can have. Caden Live and VLC all in one. Ooh, that'd be a nice download. Music score. Yeah, ghosty. Mm, all you there for you, if you want to do about that. I know you're not into that too much, now. YouTube Downloader. Mm, I've never used it, but hey, if you want to use it, it's there. No big deal whatsoever, okay? Uh, Avid Emux is still here after all these years. 12 years? Got to be 12 years. It's still there. If you use it, it's okay. Mix. Once we get the full machine going, we'll install that and see if that works correctly, okay? Sometimes it does have trouble doing that, so we have to wait and see. On Cody, if you're in a Cody box, to just for a media centre at the end of the day. Under fun, Tory Bash, old phone school. Open Hexagon. Never played it, but I've got a lot of Steam games. So if you want to play your Steam games, that's fine, okay? Under useful, we've got Wine, VirtualBox, VMware, Conky, the DevX you're going to need if you want to do other stuff with Puppy. We can go into that another time, and I'm sure quite a few of us will do over the next two weeks or so. Because you're going to get a load of videos on Pup now, okay? Load and load and load. But I'm the best. Because <sighs> I'm great. Okay, oh, Spotify's there. Should we do it? Yes, let's install him. So he's processing, processing, processing. I'll have a bit of drinkage while I'm here. Mmm. Sort of apple Hmm, it's very nice. So we're going to find Spotify in multimedia. So click OK. It updates. Will it be in multimedia? Let's have a look. It's there. All I have to do is put my password in and my username, and I've got Spotify on Puppy Linux 8. Yeah, yeah, 8, not 7, not 6. It's not a Slackware version or Slack. No, okay. Debian stroke Ubuntu version. So you can get all the software that you need to run Puppy Linux, okay? And make it your daily driver. And what you're going to see in the next couple of days is the servers for this are going to go bonkers and some may close down because they're going to get so many downloads. Because people will not upgrade from 7.5 to this one, okay? And then, then there may be some problems, but hey, we'll get to them. Drivers. Now, you remember last time I said, I had a few problems with the NVIDIA drivers. Hmm? And this will install them manually. Well, I'm going to try on the hardware install. We'll do it tomorrow or day after. And we'll see how we go. But at the moment, it seems to be running all right. Okay. They've got a Broadcom wireless LAN driver, which I need for this uh, motherboard okay, on this one, but I'm not going to be running it full time here. Then we've got a, a PCIe Express webcam driver that some of you may need. Okay. That's good for me. Okay. So, quickly down to the menu. I'm not going to spend too long. It's usual puppy stuff, except we have Redshift by default. Great for my eyes. Okay. Makes an awful difference. Okay. And the system, anything different? No, not really. Boot manager, hardware info. Yeah, okay, we go. Hardware info. There we go. Bish bosh. There you go. So we're on the 5960 X tonight. We're at three gigs. Super duper. I like it. That's what it says. 
Uh, what else can I show you here? Memory. Yep, it's not using too much. There's nothing I can show you there, really, is there? Okay, we'll go back to another one. Get a setup. Just to make it different. This has actually got larger, but on Barry's own little um, project, we do not have a bootloader, which I didn't like. Which is a bit of a pity, otherwise I would have done a video on it already. I didn't really want to do it in the box. It's easy OS, isn't it? There was no bootloader there that would work for me. Okay, But here we have Grub for DOS and Legacy Grub. So Barry, if you're awake yet, or you know, whatever you're doing, if you put that in the menu, we can have a better look at it and more people will use it. That's great. Utilities. All the usual soldiers are there, but I've installed Sonic Pi. Whether it'll work or not is another thing. I'm working on a snap for it at the moment because it's not really working very well on all distributions in the Linux world. But I'm working on that one. Okay. We've got um, in the term soon, so I'll have a bit more time maybe to do some stuff on it. Under file system, mm -mm -mm. usual graphic. I've not installed anything here, but as you can see, a lot of things have changed. Like, hmm, what's G pick? It's just picky colours, isn't it? Under documents, Abbey Word as usual. Yeah, as we've seen that already. We've got a PZ PDF converter that I do actually like from Go for converting stuff. Business, home bank is back. Oh, yeah. Password manager, all there. Bcrypt. I love Bcrypt. If you're a puppy user and you've not used Bcrypt, go and give me a go. You can just get encrypt any file you want. Yeah. Just send it and it's going to be quite difficult to get stuff out of that once it's encrypted. And a network, what I did find was janky Bluetooth. Hmm. I don't know what he was on when he was making that one, but he's obviously spelled it wrong. Wrong letter, if you know what I mean. And the internet. As you can see, I've installed Chrome. I've seen it all before. See how quick it is. It's really, 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 really quick. Quick. Quicker than a quick thing. I know. Puppy phone's still there. Oh, I've still got to use it very well. And I said Claws Mail was here and Hex Chat, a few other stuff. <clears throat> My voice just started going. Hang on a second. Because I'm so excited. Oh, that's better. Multimedia. I've installed OBS. It needs a reboot to work correctly. And I need to install some Python here too. Simple screen recorder by default, so don't worry about it. My voice is going again. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. Puppy Linux 8 is here, guys. Go download it, give it a go. We're going to do it on real hardware tomorrow. When I mean real hardware, we're going to install it on a Q6600 with 4 gigs of RAM and see how we go and record everything as we go. Super duper. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Thank you.